Hi Scorpio, it's Lynn from Tinker Tarot. I'm here to bring you your January Cartomancy reading. Cartomancy is the art of reading the regular playing cards. So um, this is the old way that um, card reading began with, was with playing cards and then they started adding pictures and then they developed the tarot. So anyway, um, I've been, been doing this for about 23 years, I guess, maybe the cartomancy, something like that. And, uh, anyway, so, uh, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you joined me, came on back again. And we're going to put your energy in there now, Scorpio. Happy New Year, by the way. Let's see what we got for you. Scorpio. Scorpio. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Scorpio. January 2022. Scorpio. All right. Sometimes it takes me a minute because I'll get images of people in my mind and I don't want any person in particular. I just want the word. Oops. And I like when I see the scorpion too. You're your animal totem mm, look who just jumped out the queen of spades the queen of spades this is probably a female because it's female energy but it could be male too this person is um separated widowed or divorced uh sometimes they're still healing from their pain they're not quite over uh, this could be you, Scorpio, or someone around you, and they're not quite healed. They could wear some of their pain um, or um, just uh, just still dealing with it, still healing, okay? Could be sensitive to uh, a sensitive person. I want to take this one, too, because it's tipping off here. And it is the five of spades. Now, the five of spades is a loss. There's something that, um, you know, obviously this woman, this person, it could be someone with very dark eyes, uh, dark brown or even black eyes. Doesn't have to be. They could have dark features, dark hair, dark skin. But they are suffering or loss or have, have suffered a loss okay and they could be taking a while to deal with their pain okay let's see what else what we got for you scorpio so i go around if you haven't joined me before i go around and make seven piles and I go around and put a card on each pile three times. I go around three times. So there's three cards on every pile. And I deal them out face down, but right side up. So that's how I was taught, and that's how I do it. So this is the present conditions, the here and now. All right. You have another five. Uh, five of hearts, queen of diamonds, and the four of spades. Now, the five of hearts is a plus card. It's gain. And there's some gain and feeling here. There's some, um, could be gain in a relationship that you have. This woman could be a green-eyed woman. She could have kind of like a strawberry blonde or maybe um, auburn hair. She also could be mature. She could have white, gray, or platinum hair. She could be over 50 and mature. And, it, and you know, this is the second female. It could be a male, too, but I, it's, sometimes it's, it's how it's presented. But you have to decide for you. This also could be you, Scorpio. But it's a gain in relationship here. There's a, a friendship bonding here. There's, there's bonding going on. And in this friendship that has been bonding and growing, there is some doubt. There's something that has 
uh, you may need to make a decision or be at a crossroads about with this person or with this friendship. The other thing too is that they could be at a crossroads regarding it. There's something said or done that is um, could be offensive. It could be um i feel like it could be an isolated incident an isolated incident that causes some sort of doubt or torn feelings in this relationship this could be a relative of yours your mom your sister your best friend um could even be your partner it could be yourself. You have to decide. Oh, there's that hair. So let's see what's coming in. You have the Ten of Clubs, the Two of Spades, and the Jack of Diamonds. Um, if, you know, a lot of times the Ten of Clubs makes me think of moving. There's a possibility that you could be moving. You could be leaving where you are and getting some distance. Um, but here it's, there's, um, I'm thinking there's some sort of separation from work. So it kind of makes sense with what's going on in the world right now. We're working from home or we're being separated from, and it might be difficult to finish your work, get work done, get, and also there's a, a separation from co-workers. It might be there's a lot of communication online over the phone I feel like you're gonna get some sort of message that you know what the other thing I just saw too you know what the other thing I just saw is this could have been a contract okay the ten of clubs makes me think well partnered with this uh, jack of diamonds makes me think of a possible contract so you could have been hired for a specific amount of time or for a maternity leave or uh, you know just it, it just for the season could have been a seasonal thing or something like that and so your contract could be coming up like where you're finished your contract okay however I feel like um, for whatever reason, if you're replacing someone or, you know, I don't think that they, I don't think it's over. I don't think your contract is up. There's going to be, I think there's going to be an extension, but it you're going to do it from a distance is what I feel. There's separation from the place or the, something like that okay so you're going to get some sort of extension it could only be a couple of months two months maybe um because they're not in the position to switch it all back yet is what i'm getting the feeling of okay this is something like that all right so above you on your mind um this is also the immediate um present you know what i mean like it's it's or no the immediate outcome so this is uh the immediate future which is coming up right away and then there's the outcome which is over here um but anyway king of diamonds three of diamonds queen of clubs <laughs> so the king of diamonds is usually the mature man uh he could have green eyes um maybe gray or a real pale blue could have auburn or reddish hair but usually i see this person as the mature person they're mature they're they're probably quite serious too but creative abundant share um very responsible responsible okay and then we have the queen of diamonds or queen of clubs and the queen of clubs is a brown or hazel-eyed woman and you can re reverse these roles if you want for both 
cards. Um, she's creative, friendly, uh, very good socially, like is a uh, very social, probably funny, um, dynamic, uh, uh, a manifester, an action oriented person, like somewhat like the queen of, um, wands, but this is based on the eyes. Okay. Now what's in the middle here is the three of diamonds. And I'm going to tell you the three of diamonds is kind of the engagement card. It's, it's taking the relationship to the next level. So, you know, diamonds are usually about money, right? But this particular one is a wish card. It's, it's, it, it's taking this to, to the next level where you were hoping to get to, 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 um, what do they call that? Uh, blend the union. And I, it could be symbolically, it could be done symbolically, not officially, you know, this could be in a symbolic sense of somehow making a commitment or a promise. It could be a promise. Okay. Also, you could be sharing finances with this person, um, sharing the bills, sharing the cost and the, the income as well. So there could, you could start sharing finances or households. All right. But I feel like it's, I'm feeling a, a bit of an engagement thing or some sort of symbolic, um, token of your relationship in your work pile ooh, you have the ten of spades the eight of spades and the three of spades something is coming to an end okay there's an obstacle here uh something the obstacle could have been something that is said Okay, spoken or written could be, but I think it's spoken. I think that there's some sort of aggression. Someone comes across aggressively pushy. Um, I also feel like it's a this or this. You know, you got to pick this or you got to pick this. And if you're picking that, you can't be here. You know, this kind of like really ultimatum. An ultimatum is what I'm feeling. So there's an obstacle here created and i think through language somehow through language okay uh someone has overstepped their bounds i think is what i think's going on all right could be related over here this could be a younger person than you uh they 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 could be trying to climb the ladder this person they're anxious to get somewhere in a hurry you know and they could be they also could be causing divisions within the, uh, whether it's the, um, on your floor where you work or with your group, your team, or I don't know, could be causing divisions. All right. And this could be in typing, like this could be in emails, um, or this it's language it's in the language and whatever it's if it's spoken or typed it's in the language all right that's where the problem lies geez another one well, i suppose it's only your second really so this is your exterior influences how others are influencing you or seeing you and you have the eight of hearts the two of diamonds and the seven of spades um, I think they see you as a very kind-hearted person, a very, um, a, a very approachable, uh, very t team, like trying to work with people, find solutions, solving that kind of person, open, loving, um, and, but you're, there's, you're in tears now you're there's something you're upset about and it could come out in a meeting there could be a meeting but you're not being seen in a bad light i'm going to tell you that right now it's not your light that's the problem 
Um, I see you speaking, trying to work it out, trying to speak kindly, trying to be understanding, thinking, geez, you know, they must have misunderstood me or maybe they're, they've had a tough day. It's been tough. And, you know, I see you being understanding and trying to create solutions and bonds where, um, but I think that, um, there could be some healing or something coming out of this, but I think that you're going, there, there's tears from some, some side of this, maybe both. All right. So look at this, look at this 10, 10, ace, 10, 10, ace. And they're all excellent. 10 of hearts, 10 of diamonds, ace of clubs. There's a lot of things in your life that are coming to conclusion. Relationships, uh, 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 parts of your security and stability. Um, you are ready for change and ready for new in a lot of ways in your life. I think that like uh, where you're living, I think is going to change in this year. Like I'm seeing this year, you're going to make changes, um, whether it's you're selling or renting or I don't know, you could move to another town. You could think I want to start again somewhere else. Okay. So, and, and so because you have, you have all four tents, all four of them. Okay. And because all of these uh, areas of your life are coming to culmination, which is the um, um, kind of like the, the end of the story, you know, that you've done everything you can do in, the, in, the, in your job and maybe in the field you're in where you're living, you know, maybe you've been living there a long time and it's, you just need a change. Um, or maybe it's not suited for you anymore. You know, maybe, um, you need more space. Maybe you need less space. I don't know what it is, but you're happy about these changes, these, these closing these doors and letting these things go so that you have room for the new. And that's, that's the key thing, right? Having room for the new, because although we can welcome all kinds of new things into our life, but do we have room in our life for all those things? Sometimes we need to say, well, you know what? I, I guess I don't need to, um, um, I don't know what the example would be, but you know, uh, I don't need to go skating anymore. I'd like to go swimming now. I'd like to experience water in a different way. You know, I really need that cleansing. So uh, whatever it is for you, I just made up that silly example. But um, so the Ace of Clubs is new career and new home. It's opportunity for you to grow and to heal. Okay, but big opportunity for you to grow. I think you have the money and I also think you have the, you're, you're ready. You're ready emotionally, spiritually. You're ready for this now. You may not have been, you needed to, to wait or the timing wasn't right for some reason, somehow, but the timing is becoming right. It's, it's really you're really ready for the new. Um, and I think the stuff up here with, I'm not sure if it's work or there's some sort of tension and, um, it's part of the reason you're, you're deciding to make this move, to make this change in your life. The cart or I mean the surprise pile, this is what you don't expect. And you have the six of hearts, the four of diamonds, and the jack of spades. Uh, so, um, I got the feeling you, I think you're moving in or you're, um, uh, you're, um, 
collaborating like this was this is with someone close to you a family member a really good friend a lover and this is about taking relationships um to the next level if you're if it's your partner you could be moving in together or you could decide to commit in some way um if it's your friend you could start hanging out together you could move in together to share expenses be roommates um whatever the case it, it does have something to do with security um i feel like someone could be in financial trouble which is one of the reasons you may consider this uh because there could be a financial strain on one of you if not both of you but so financial could be one of the reasons and also i think you're ready to take some big steps forward um uh, like i said what whoever this is in your life where you feel i feel, i think you feel fairly safe and secure but i think someone could be in financial trouble here they're not financially stable so you may decide and it could be both of you like i said so and times are tough right now like everything is double what it used to be so it only makes sense to combine incomes combine that sort of stuff to help you know help each other so yeah scorpio scorpio um the only people that showed up oh well you do have a king you have three queens and one king so there's a lot of female influence here it seems um hmm you know what I think this is going to end uh, lead to is some sort of release. I think it's going to be a good thing. It's a, like an awful thing when it happens, but I think it's going to be a, a really great release for you. You're going to understand what you're willing to tolerate, not tolerate. Oh my, oh my, look at what we have here. True love. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that beautiful? Okay, is there another one for Scorpio? So obviously this is romantic. This person I'm speaking of. Oh, I really like that one. Because I did talk about some pain taking a while to heal over a loss. Whoever this is, this could be you or someone around you. But I love this is forgiving and learning can you see that forgiving and learning and um see this guy has his hand on this other guy's and it says okay i forgive you and they feel terrible they feel guilty they feel you know they want to plea for their case it's a woman to a man but who knows what the situation is as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moments now isn't that true way eh? like sometimes we can't enjoy our relationship we're in right now because we're still so mad and hurt over the past and if we could forgive them and let that go we could embrace and enjoy everything we have now or that we want now you know and so forgiveness is really really it's not easy it's not easy so i don't mean to talk like it is and it takes time but when you can get there you are fully able to embrace and enjoy love again in your life this true love the romance of a lifetime so wow <laughs> wow scorpio this is really really nice i can see that um it's funny you just got this one ace but it's a really 
powerful good a is so much potential here um you you're ready to step into the new you're just closing all your doors you're crossing your t's and darting your eyes well i gotta do that and i got that first i gotta finish that and once and you're making your list eh? and you're ticking things off you're getting things done you're getting there okay so how fabulous for you um i um that's it i just hope you like this reading comment if you do like share and subscribe and all that stuff and i will be talking to you soon take care bye now